We have lots of customers asking us why most fridge filter installation instructions say that a filter should be flushed when it's first installed. Well, we had a little fun with the hacksaw because we wanted to find out more about what was actually inside of our most popular fridge filters. I mean, what are we actually flushing? We found that for the most part, all fridge filters have the same type of carbon block media inside. The activated carbon is bonded and formed into a cylindrical shape, and that cylinder is then bonded to the ends of the filter cartridge. The idea is to force water from the supply line through the walls of the cylinder and then back out of the filter to feed the water dispenser and ice maker with filtered water. This contraption is our fridge filter test station. This is where we can get a closer look at the inner workings of the refrigerator water system to help answer questions and solve problems for our customers. Instead of a water dispenser like the one that you might have on your fridge door, we've got this drinking water faucet that empties into a utility sink. But back to flushing. Here I am installing the popular Whirlpool 439-6508 filter into its receiver. When we first turn on the water to run it through the filter, we notice the first bit of water that comes out looks kind of gray and contains some tiny black flecks. These are just bits of loose carbon that may have separated from the carbon block during manufacturing or shipping. They won't hurt you, but I know I wouldn't want to drink them. Check your refrigerator owner's manual to be sure, but most manufacturers recommend that you run anywhere from 3 to 5 gallons of water through your new filter to ensure all the loose carbon is flushed out of the filter. If your fridge doesn't have a water dispenser and you can't flush the filter this way, discard your first two buckets of ice after changing the filter.